What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Lunox bringing you a brand new video and today I am doing a tutorial on how to anchor in Breach. A lot of people have been asking me because a lot of people don't really know how to anchor or just starting in Black Ops 3 so I thought I'd show them. Now when you start on this side which I believe is uh CDP you're gonna run out of bottom broken and this place that I like to go is I always rush straight up here because normally you'll catch somebody coming straight out here out of bottom lab or trying to go to top AC and he won't expect you if you pop up in this corner or something like that. Normally though, the people typically go up the spawn, they run up the staircase, the top broken and they crouch right here and they kill him right here. But the thing is, you're leaving the lab over to your partners and unless your partner gets here before the other guy, they're still going to have control of the hard point which is going to force you to push up. Uh, on the black ops side, what I normally do is I'll come through bottom lab, go up here to top AC like everybody else does, and you got a perfect view of a guy right here, or the guy sitting on top broken, if anybody tries to run around the sides of the hard points, and nobody's typically going to flank you through palace, but this is probably the best side to spawn in for free char point, because the second hard point's right on this side anyways, and it gives you a huge advantage. For the second hard point, I always just slide off here, run to the back of the map, because the second that you reach here, as long as you and one other partner are here, you guys should have spawns. You typically will have spawns. And that is a huge advantage on this hard point because you will spawn right here. And the partners, uh, their team, will usually spawn all the way down by bottom greenhouse. Which gives you a huge advantage because you get to the hill way quicker. You can get in positions way quicker. And a lot of people are going to try to flank through here or bottom lab and try to kill you back here. Which easily uh, gets you at least 30 seconds in this hill over here. This hill is the money hill, in my opinion, in all of Breach. Because you can just milk time here like crazy. But when you're here, I always pre-aim bottom lab or over here. And if I see my partners dropping or they let me know, I will run up here to the side and pre-aim. You can pre-aim here. You could jump up here and see the front door. You could watch wall run. You could turn around and watch the back. There's so much you can do on this hard point that it helps so much. This is for both sides, CDP and Black Ops, because this is definitely the better side for the spawns for the second hard point, where the first hard point is just kind of universal. It doesn't really matter where you spawn as long as you... Uh, get the kills and pick up the trades for the third hard point what i like to do is i like to go up here and anchor off of ac until my partners get a few kills in the hill because typically you're gonna have one person pushed out here uh one person in the bar head glitching bar looking over here maybe one person pushed out on a broken side but it, it's the easiest position to pick off people you completely cover middle lane for your team so all they have to worry about is them coming from that direction and it helps a lot but the only bad part about being in this position is you leave yourself vulnerable to a flank if they go around hide if they hit the lower wall run and you're going to have to be the one who's going to have to rotate uh typically i like to rotate at around 20 seconds because when you rotate you, it's going to take you at least 10 seconds to get all the way over here to try to uh, get you spawned for next hard point. The next hard point is bottom greenhouse. The second you reach here, you should have spawns for next hard point, and it'll give you a huge advantage. Now, there's different positions in this hard point, a lot of different positions, and it all goes off preference, so make sure that you try your certain positions, because there's a lot of different ways that you guys can anchor each hard point. It all is just, it's really up to your preference, whatever fits your play style, because a lot of different ARs are aggressive, and a lot of different are support. And you have to make sure that where you sit fits your play style. I like, since I'm a very uh, stable anchor, I like to go up here to the top greenhouse. I can watch the wall run, I can see if they come to your hut. I can push up here around the corner. I can pre aim the lower wall run. And if they need me in the hard point, I can just drop in and aim the door. And there's so many things you can do in this position, but there's also the position right over here where you could just head glitch these right here, the statue, and you can see them coming bottom broken. You can if your partners will typically call out if they're coming top broken, you can just pre-aim here and kill them here. You can push out to the back in a matter of a second to kill them if they're coming off length to try to steal spawns. There's a lot that you can do in this position. The next hard point is going to be bottom lab. And a lot of people get confused with this hard point. I have no idea why. I mean, there's four hard points on here. And a lot of people like to for some reason think that it goes back to mid when it really doesn't and for this anchor it's going to be typically the same as the second hard point you're going to want to sit back here because then you'll spawn right here and you'll go right into the hard point and they'll spawn all the way down by bottom broken and 
when you're here though what i typically like to do is i like to go over here and head glitch this you can see if they come off lower wall run you can see them if they come off height you can see them if they come over here in the second hard point you can see them if they come over here through the side door you're going to completely cover the side door for your partners and you'll just have to have somebody laying in here or sitting in a corner over here who can watch back lab no matter what the enemy team even if they flank through here are not going to get spawns unless they kill you right here because you're still gonna have your partners in the hard point and they will not get the spawns unless they come up here and kill you on this uh right there i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on anchoring in each position and make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe because if i get five likes on this video i will create one on another map let me know in the comments i will do every single map in this entire series as long as i get five likes on this video please like comment subscribe share with friends it really helps the channel and as always guys it's been your boy lunox later